Alright, of course we're back. Let's just jump right into it. Look, we've overpassed my other file. How funny. But the, the funny thing is, though, is that I've skipped through pretty much all the dialogue in here. So I'm way further in this than in this. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing? Alright, okay, sure. How did you know? You're hiding an A-set figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. A company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Looks like he's not lying. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. But he's gone now. A suicide? Yeah, after breaking out of the hospital. About 20 years back, both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. The doctors say he can still see. But it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Date, a question for Moma. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him, from the toe to the thigh. T 
totally blank expression, like he was scraping bonito flakes. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? He started climbing the ranks, and eventually, he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. Wait, it's the new... Oh, okay. I just didn't get... I didn't get the chair, apparently. Well, there we go. Now I got the chair. About six years ago, I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. He didn't give me the details, but... I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. A few days later, cops busted him. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know? His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko. Including Moma. Hey Moma, I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? And your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. <sighs> in exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASAP. What? I met her yesterday at Lemniscate. We're acquaintances now. Really? Yeah. You promise? Yeah, I promise. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASAT fan. Really? That information might come in handy later. Let's go somewhere else, Ima. We got what we needed here. Welcome home, Sea King. Sea King? your first time here? Uh, sorry. I'm not here as a customer. I need to talk to someone about something. Jeez, kid. Excuse me.
What kind of furniture can you drink? What? Um, a light beer? Nope. Rice? You can't drink rice. The answer is liquefied leather sofa. How would anyone ever guess that? Can you even drink that? Okay then. Who knows? So, who's your type, Date? Sorry, but no one stands out to me. I don't go for the spawn. I'm more of a big catch fisherman. Uh, what? I think he's saying he likes older women. What's in the box? The severed bottom half of a mermaid. You could have just said the tail. It looks like a flotation device, right? But it's actually a huge donut. Oh, oh where did you get that idea from? <laughs> okay, it's just gonna be labeled donut now. I think that's everything. By the way, I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Konami Date of the Metropolitan Police Department. You're a detective? Something like that. No, he never showed up. When was the last time he came here? Hmm, let me think. He's just the owner, not the manager, so... He comes sometimes, but not all that often. That's what we call the customers. Us mermaids serve the Sea Kings. And we really are mermaids, you know. Don't tell anyone. What? Everyone working here is a real mermaid. But you have legs. They were a gift from Poseidon. We were given legs and feet. 
so that we can gather riches and foreign currency in the labor market. Dante, let's go. No, not yet. There's still so much to learn. Do not listen to her siren song. Oh, too bad. We will. <laughs> Dante, I must be the bearer of bad news. Even with X-ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. Your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. The concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising rapidly. What are you excited about? Her hips? Are you seeing this? <laughs> Cry tears of joy. Do you have a paraphilia for bones? Look, huh. I can see right through. You seriously disgust me, Date. are referred to as mermaids. It's not a spear. It belongs to Poseidon, god of the sea. You know, a trident. Why do you have that? We treat our customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. The color changes depending on your rank. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. It's more like a way to exploit their vanity. To separate our customers from their money as much as possible. That sounds even worse. I'm still gold. Not that good. How much did you spend to get that? Um, about 200,000 yen. I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. <laughs> sure am. I come here whenever I've got time and money. I was here yesterday, too. Around 6.30, I think. But I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home, so I bought a new one. A new what? A phone? I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? No, haven't seen him. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? The body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex-wife. I didn't know that she was Mizuki's mom. Did she change her name or something? Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body. And I just... left her there and ran away like a coward. I'm such a piece of shit. I should have stayed. I should have done something. Why did I do that? Is it eating you up inside, Ota? Yeah, seriously. Uh... <laughs> this is the stupidest. 
happen to see that? For... Why is this needed? While you're sitting here adding up your options? But you can order too, Date. That's not why I'm mad, Ota. Because I'm worried about Tessa. Iris, what's the matter? Yesterday night. Well, it was past midnight, so more like this morning. I don't care about the timing. What happened? Tessa was streaming, as usual, from her living room at home. But suddenly... Actually, let me just show you. I always record her streams. You know, imagine her mother just walks out and yells at her. Who could it be at this hour? Oh, hey, look, interrupted by the doorbell. One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning, and then she leaves? She looked really serious, too. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. She didn't read any of my Nile messages, either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Tessa used to work here. She made a lot of friends. I'm one of them. But I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls too, but no one knows anything. Iba, call Iris. The number you are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. Something wrong, sir? Uh, no, nothing. I wonder if Tessa's okay. I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. Stop! Just see this stupid white. <laughs> Stop it! You look like you can eat just fine. <laughs> Date, Ranju is not at this location. We have other areas we need to search. Yeah, you're right. Huge dog with a human face is chasing me. <laughs> you should grant it the right of way. <laughs> this 
this Y-hander? That's a broadsword. Date, last night when you were asleep, I snuck out and put something inside the glove box. What? Flower in a plastic bag. Why would you do that? I'm a cop! <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's great. This shift lever is filthy. Would you like me to wipe it off? No, it's perfectly clean. How would you even wipe it anyway? Come out like that? Why not? If people see you, they'll freak out. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Oh. Right. But returning to your answer, why would people freak out if they saw me? Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. <laughs> if you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. An AI never lies. So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct in my eye socket? Your skull would pop like a balloon. My body is full of cutting-edge technology and state secrets. In terms of hardware as well as software. I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. I cannot harm myself. However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. You have such authority. Let us determine a code number. One that will activate the detonator. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? You know, something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Understood. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. Huh? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud. All by wireless communication in real time. Even if my body is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. Yes, as long as the server is alive.
Hey, about that five-digit command. How did you come up with that number? It is my favorite number. There is no particular meaning. Really? I still cannot contact her. Her phone is either off or out of range of cellular signal. Are you worried about her? I mean, yesterday there was definitely something wrong. I saw it in Mizuki's Somnium. Iris's body. Frozen solid. Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. I'm already tired of this, Iva. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shoko's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours. But our investigation has made zero progress. Sorry. I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. Come with me, to where you belong. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. This time is different. About Shoko Nadami's murder. We still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Iba, is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date, the line is connected. Really? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line... Right, he might pick up. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and hear. Can you reproduce her voice? Analyzing recorded audio data. Imitation should be possible. Well then?
You want me to call with Shoko's voice? Yeah. Me? You're the only one who can. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence. Not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. All right, Hal, let's see what you can do. It, it's connected. It's ringing. I thought you said you didn't get nervous. <laughs> Down, deep breaths. Wait a minute. What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. Focus, they're gonna hang up. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Yes, I died two days ago. Idiot, why did you say that? Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister, Shoku. Your twin sister? His name, get his name! How? Imposter! I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am So Sejima, the congressman. A politician? Sejima? Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh, sorry, something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. Why so? Unknown. But that was definitely So Sejima. I was able to match his voice to public records of him speaking. Was it not? Yeah, good job. Is that all? What, do you want me to pat you on the head? N no nothing like that. <laughs> Stop! It tickles! Rub, rub, rub. Stop! The nerve might break! Oh boy. Date! A call from Investigation HQ. Connect me. Is this Special Agent Date from Abyss? My name is Akaska from HQ. Round I'm two. investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier. From a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here? I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shogun Adami. Okay, we get the rest, blah blah blah. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought too. But I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. Good idea. Thanks, detective. Good luck. Do you think it really is just a prank? Well, to be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. 
But for now... So, Sejima. Hey, you can't be here without permission. I'll call the police! <laughs> what happened? Sir. A police officer. You. Can I help you? I need to ask you a few questions. I'm a very busy man. You can ask me tomorrow during normal business hours. It's about Shoko Nadami. You can't tell me you've never heard of her. As a matter of fact, I have. It was reported on the news that she was killed. Two days ago at 9.02 p.m., you made a phone call to Shoko Nadami. A phone call? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. 